Hi, it's Ross from Racetech SDS again. Today we're just going to do a short video on uh, hall sensors. And uh, we make basically two different types of hall sensors. This is the uh, generally used in the automotive, also some Rotex and Jabiru. And this is a blade type and it's adjustable. And you can see the two hall transistors here. On this side we've got the trigger one. And on this side, this is a sink element. I'll show you the aviation type. This is a thicker billet type, non-adjustable, used mainly on Lycoming, Continental, Subaru. Again, we've got uh, two hall elements here. On this side, the trigger. On this side, the sink. And we're just going to show you uh, the magnet window now. We're in the boot up mode right now. We're going to hit the gauge button once and then uh, scroll over using the arrow, right arrow button until we get to the magnet scene window. <clears throat> this allows you to check that the magnets are being seen, which is quite important on the setup. So we're going to wave the magnet over the hall sensor, the trigger element, the blue side of the magnet stack here. As you can see there, it goes from not seen to seen as the magnet passes over. If we reverse the magnet stack so the opposite polarity is facing the sensor, it will trigger the sink. Now we'll show you the uh, automotive one. Same thing. You're going to get the blue end of the magnet stack here facing the trigger element. It goes from not seen to seen. Reverse the magnet, wave it over the sink element, not seen to seen. So the magnet stack needs to pass directly over the center of these Hall, Hall effect transistors. You don't want it off to one side here because it'll affect the uh, triggering distance. Ideally the air gap is usually about uh, 40 to 80 thousandths of an inch. And we do want the magnets to uh, we do want the screen to stay seen for about three to four degrees of crankshaft rotation. So when you're rotating the engine, you really want this to go from not seen to seen for about four degrees of crankshaft rotation. So that as the edge of the magnet comes up, it'll go seen. As it passes over the middle, it stays seen. And as it goes past the trailing edge, it stays seen for a certain distance. That indicates the magnets directly over the center of the Hall effect transistor, and that's really what we want. And you can uh, check your magnet stack. Some people rub the blue off here, and they can't tell which end is which. So on the uh, trigger element here, which is the one with the uh, white writing showing up through the epoxy, if you wave the correct end over, it'll trigger it to scene. Then you can remark that end blue and everything's referenced from that blue mark in the manual so that should help you uh, if you've rubbed the ink off the magnet stack. Okay, that's about it for today. Hopefully that was informative. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.